Okay, welcome guys. I'm going to be officially announcing a new cup starting the 27th of March. That will be one week after the second round of uh, the GT3 Championship. So after the second round at Brno of the GT3 Championship, a week later on Monday, I'm going to hold the DTM Cup. Now, this is in the new DTM. This isn't in the old school DTM, so this will be in the brand new DTM cars. We have the Mercedes DTM, which is everyone's going to be thrilled about because they have a lot of grip. Uh, the brakes are fantastic, and they have DRS. Now, that's really important. DRS, you need to assign a DRS button if you haven't done already on your steering wheels. Or if you're using a pad, um, like Nick Holmes does, then make sure you sign, assign a uh, DRS button because you will suffer massively if you don't. Okay, so um, that's the first thing. The second thing, the format will be uh, the same as the other cups. We'll have three heats and a final. Every single race will be a different track, including the final, so you'll have four different tracks. Format, I'm still a little bit undecided on at the moment. I think we'll probably run the same format as we always have done in the Cups, because it's proved very successful. Um, so I will have a practice, like a 10-minute practice, a 10-minute um, qualifying. Whether you guys want it as a super poll or not, you can let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want a super poll. Um, if not, we'll just have a straightforward, flat-out qualifying. I think straightforward qualifying would be better um, for the Cup, but up to you guys. Uh, and then straight into the race. Um, obviously, then you accumulate points, as before, uh, for the first three heats, and then you'll get put into your grid order, and we'll have a formation lap for the final, and do a lap race. There'll be no mandatory pit stops in the final. Um, it will be a straight, a straight run uh, to the flag. So, the settings will be default setup, no tire wear, no damage, and dry racing all around, okay? Um, there will be some wet racing, don't worry, there will, but it will not be in the DTM Cup. I have another Cup coming up after this um, soon, which I'll let you know later on. Um, and that will possibly hold some wet racing in there, so don't freak out, we're going to have some wet racing. Project Cars 1's finishing soon, uh, i.e. Project Cars 2's coming out, Project 1 isn't finishing, but Project um, Cars 1 will be um, on the back burner from September, obviously because the new game's coming out. So what I'm going to do in this cup is I'm going to host some tracks that we haven't raced or have stayed away from. Um, so some of you may be absolutely over the moon once I announce, once I announce the tracks, uh, some of you may hate them. But, you know, we're all in the same boat. You've got time to practice. I'm giving you plenty of time, plenty of warning. You can go out there and you can practice. It's all default setup, so you've not got to do car setups or anything. Just jump on the track and uh, have a go. Um, so, with all that being said, um, we'll get into the track selection. And uh, here are the tracks. Okay, so, heat one, we're going to start it off nice and easy. And this is a track that we don't usually race, and we're going to start off with Hockenheim Classic. Now Hockenheim Classic is the old 80s, 90s Formula 1 layout, it's got humongous straights, um, could be quite boring for some people to race on, but you've got to think you have DRS. And do not forget to shut your DRS when you're coming into those fast chicanes, because uh, they'll catch you out if you don't shut them. Um, so yeah, we've got an exciting track there, some, some good overtaking opportunities and so forth. Okay, so now on to Heat 2. Heat 2 will be completely different from Heat 1. So we're going to stay German and we're going to go to Oscherschleben GP layout. Now this is a very tight track, very narrow track, and it's going to be hard to overtake. So patience will be key here. And also, there's not many places to open up your DRS. And I think apart from the front straight, you're not going to be wanting to open your DRS because uh, you will probably forget to shut it. Um, it does automatically shut off during braking zones, but if you uh, if you leave it on, you're feeling risky and you don't want to brake and you want to throttle around the corner. If you don't shut it, you will spin out. So, Oscherschleben GP will be heat number two. Heat number three. Now, this is the exciting one. This is the one uh, a lot of people have been calling out for. This is the one where I'm a little bit 50-50 and on the fence with. And uh, this is also the one where I know a lot of people hate this track layout. And a lot of people don't know it. 
and I think you know where I'm going with this. We are staying German, but we are going for the Nordschleife. Yes, <laughs> you heard it right. We are going for Nürburgring Nordschleife. We are using the classic layout of Nordschleife. We will not be using the combined layout of Nordschleife. Okay, so we will be using the old school layout. Okay, now depending on how long it takes to get around for a lap, depending on how many laps we do, I think it may be about four laps. So, this will be uh, interesting because the qualifying um, is also going to have to be bumped up to about 20 minutes so you can get a lap in, so you'll get one lap in. But the Nordschleife, we've not raced this in a cup or in a championship or anything, and as I say, as we're coming to the end of Project Cars 1, I think we need to chuck this into the mix now. I think we need to see how we all get on with it. We've done it in some fun races, and it's proved pretty fun, so to speak. But, you know, let's put it in a, uh, in a cup. Let's, let's race for points. Let's see how it goes. And uh, so, yeah, the Nordschleife will be Heat 3, so get prepared for that. So, after all of that, after your three heats are done, you get your points. The final will be in Belgium, Spa. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking we've done Spa a lot, but Spa has provided some fantastic racing, probably some of the best racing we've ever had on our community. Now, this has amazing uh, DRS opportunities, has amazing braking zones into, the, uh, into some tight corners, so you have loads of overtaken opportunities. Um, and again, there wasn't another German track I could pick from which wasn't already Hockenheim, Nürburgring or Oschersleben, so I picked something very close to Germany and I've gone for Belgium and I've gone for Spa, I think it's very fitting for the DTM cars, it's very wide and I think we're going to have a cracking final at Belgium with our rolling starts and we can even start the rolling start formation lap on the Formula 1 start finish line so that will prove something even more exciting if you want to start it there. Let me know what you think of my track selections. Let me know what you think of this cup. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, 27th of March. Get yourselves ready. Get yourselves practicing. And um, yeah, we'll see you for that one. And let's make this a good cup. Good fun cup. And let's just everyone have some fun. Enjoy themselves. And uh, we'll see you on the 27th of March. Cheers, guys.